heart, heart problems. And the reason why he had to have a heart valve replaced is I don't, you know, they never told me, but I believe it's because my father never shared what he was going through. Mm. While people don't believe that that is, that can affect you. It does holding stuff in creates tension in your body. It creates uh, stresses, it creates anxieties. And so it is the anxiety that can lead to the depression, which then can cause ailments, physical ailments in your body. And so I remember him having to have that surgery and it was horrible. Like that surgery, we, oh my God, it was horrible. Then moving forward, I was finding myself getting to that place where I wasn't really sharing. And it wasn't until it was, in, in fact, I'll tell you, I had did this, I was, a, I was um, a, a top income earner um, in the company. And I, I've shared this before on like a smaller platform. I don't know if I've ever shared this like publicly to all social media, I'm not sure. Um, but I was in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, mind you, in this company that I was in, I had worked myself to the bone. I mean, I would be in six different states in just one month grinding on calls all day long losing friends not seeing my family lost my grandmother during all of this because i was so busy i didn't want i didn't have time to go see her i knew i would be able to see her eventually and then through the midst of all of that losing her and losing a friend you know one of my good girlfriends she passed away and so i'm at this conference in las vegas and now i did share this portion but i'm trying to figure out ways that i can no longer be here okay and in that process, um, I remember reaching out to one of the leaders and letting them know, I don't wanna be here anymore, like in this world. Mm -hmm. And they did not respond back. And so the next day, and, and I won't even go into detail why I didn't make a decision, just know that every single way that was guaranteed, I was too afraid. Okay. To so when I go to the conference the next day, which by the way, I had worked so hard in this company and my income had dropped so much um, that I couldn't even afford to stay in the host hotel. But at the same time, I got to get in front of these people and tell everybody this is the number one lifestyle in the world. And it was yeah. nice. And um, I remember them seeing me at the conference and I had to put on, you know, you had to put on face. Yep. And, and they, they asked me, are you back? I thought that was so disrespectful. Am I back? And so, oh, oh, you think I'm playing? Oh, I'm out here showing people one life when ultimately that's not the truth. Mm. And I felt like a hypocrite. And the last thing I ever want to be is a woman when it's all said and done, known for.